<laughs> Whoa, that definitely shouldn't be sparking. We can worry about that after we catch our dragon. And convince Lady Hellbender to help us bust the church a new one. Before setting out on our quest, let us rouse our spirits with a Katathian battle anthem. What? Like now? You know what? Flark it. Let's do it. Now listen closely. Ancient Katathian is a powerful tongue with words that hold great meaning. Follow as I lead the melody. So draju dupluk, heldagor morgat, soltas flandergat. Really? We're doing this? So draju dupluk, heldagor morgat, soltas flandergat. Tagat konat kol, vol mal kiltat. Goth and cold Galmak. Targoth on a pole. Bull monkey, old ah. Goth and cold Galmak. Pelmafin Sardut. Jot kind of old how. Goth and cold Galmak. I am Groot. Yeah, I liked it too. Hey, what does that last line say, Drax? Soltath Flandergath. It means you will be victorious. All good, buddy? I'm Groot. Ready for our biggest battle yet? I am Groot. He was more worried about us killing each other over the past few cycles. The Milano isn't going to self-destruct or anything while we're gone, right? How many times do I gotta tell you? The ship probably ain't equipped with self-destruct systems. All set to take on Foom Rocket? They say that a single one of his claws is bigger than a fully grown man. Considering how those legends about Hellbender turned out, that dragon's probably as tall as Groot. We're gonna pull this off. I know it. Of course. We have to. For Nikki. I knew this day would come. I was destined to battle the Dragon Lord of Kakaranthara. I bet you didn't think you'd be fighting him with this team of a-holes. I did not. But I am thankful fate has granted me this honor. Despite your best efforts, you are an honorable man, Peter Quill. Thanks, Drax. Ever fought a dragon before? Sounds fun, actually. Not only in the arcade. That's good enough, right? All right, let's do this. <laughs> Shivering tit wishes it's cold. <laughs> That's not really how that saying goes. You want to correct me? Or you want to find Fing Fang Foom and save the galaxy? I want Fing Fang Foom. And the galaxy saving thing, I guess. Assuming Hellbender even goes for this. Lady Hellbender will go for it. Okay, well, I ain't seeing no Foom Poom. We should look for Katathian hunt markers. Testaments to the bravery of those who came before. By bravery, you mean. Oh, <laughs> The legends of raining fire are true! Any other legends we should know about? Legends of glorious death! Well, as long as it's glorious! Watch out! We did not come here to be slain by ice and rocks. There is only one noble way to die on Mach 4. Like so many of my people. For us. Someone remind Drax we ain't come here to die! No one's dying! We're taking Foom alive! We're handing him over to Lady Hellbender alive! And we're getting her to help us take on the church's armada! So in this plan of ours, the armada part is where we die? <sighs> Maybe, but definitely not before that. Go team! Oh, these 
cliffs grow increasingly unstable with every impact. All right, Drax. Let's channel some of that excitement toward this rock. Ah, I should pretend that is the head of Fin Fang Foom. Great. Drax just shattered the skull of the thing we're supposed to capture. Bye-bye, galaxy. You have nothing to fear. They say that his bones cannot be crushed. See? Nothing to fear. I am Groot. Groot says he wants to take it all in. Take your time, buddy. Might be our last chance to take anything in. Think Foom's in there? Fantasy books taught me anything, it's that dragons love to hang out inside mountains. Groot wants to know if those books said anything about catching dragons. I'm sure it had something to do with teamwork and trust. <laughs> you can't remember the details because you didn't read the whole thing. I read a lot of different dragon books, okay? And there was always a mountain, and the good guys always win. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no one writing a book about us. I think I see something up ahead! Does it have big, scary claws? Look, my people were here. Didn't we see these in Drax's memories when Mantis linked us all together? They're Katathian hunt markers. That's a lot of brave Katathians. After Thanos raised Katath, my people were left broken, physically and mentally. Their exodus led many of them here in great numbers. Uh, so how many of these hunters came back? None. They were all victims of Fing Fang Fu? Not victims. They came for the ultimate battle. A truly glorious death. They came here to find purpose, didn't they? To reach Ultath. Our talk on nowhere. They were paying attention. Of course. Many would have been traitors or criminals. Truly bound for Sarduth. Some were diseased, or dying. Coming all the way out here, wounded and taking on the meanest monsters in the galaxy? They got my respect. And soon we shall have theirs. So if we completes this ritual... Soft and palatable! 
It is acceptable to ask for help, Peter Quill. Stay away from its wafting exhalations! So dark and cold, dear. Even the monsters are frozen. Think of this great
Okay, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how much bigger and stronger and scarier is Foom gonna be than the thing we just fought? 10,000. That's what I think. No one said this was gonna be easy, Rocket. Right, right. But 10,000 times, Quill, Drax is the literal one, remember? Obviously, our chances of pulling this off suck. Olaf. But what chance does the galaxy have if we don't pull it off? Exactly. We all saw what the church is capable of. No matter what this planet throws at us, we're not stopping until we catch Boom and Lady Hellbender is fighting by our side. <laughs> Mora, I'm thinking I can get a pretty good vantage point from the top of this thing. Okay, just be careful, Peter. <gasps> I can see the whole crater from up here. Maybe Fu's not in the mountain after all. Maybe he's down there somewhere. You tell us! I mean, if I were a dragon, I'd definitely want to stop around down there. The legends do tell us. Fin Fang Foom stalking Maklu's greatest caldera. Good enough for me. We could probably work our way around the edge and find a way down. <gasps> Flark and Hala! Whoa. Get a load of them claw marks. It's gotta be Foom's, right? He's even bigger than his legend. So, yeah. Uh, when we find him, let's avoid the claws. Okay, I'm thinking this is step one of a multi-step solution to get across this chasm. All right, and what are the next steps? Still working on that part. So if Raker completes this ritual of his, unleashes Magus or whatever, what's it gonna look like? I mean, how are we gonna know? Who knows? Fire in the sky. Incoming! So step two of your plan is crushing us all? I think I see what he's up to. Yeah, crushing us all! I could clear the rubble from that ledge, Peter Quill. I just need something to throw. How about Quill? <laughs> Come on, it's not so bad. Final step, Drax. If we can topple some of those rocks, we can- ah, ah, ah! Glorious! I swear, I've never seen you in such a good mood. Because you have never seen me on the Great Hunt before. What about our quarantine zone mission? Guys, this isn't just another monster hunt. It is a legendary hunt. No. I mean, we're not here for the monster. Well, we are. But the monster isn't the point. Catching Foom is only step one. So what? Just because the church is probably going to destroy the galaxy if we don't pull this off, we got to be all serious, like? Well, yeah, kind of. Boring! Couldn't Foom have picked a warmer planet to call home? Perhaps the eggless magma ocean of Corberus 6. Or the perpetual razor glass storms of Celestai Prime. My all right, all right. Could have been worse. What's with all them rectangles? Monoliths. Fine. What's with all them monoliths? Everyone get ready. There's something up ahead. Do not underestimate anything that survives the perils of this planet. Good advice. How's everybody holding up? I think my trigger fingers are frostbitten! I know I don't say this enough, but I really appreciate you guys! We have come a long way, Peter Quill, and we are not finished yet! Next round's on me! Johnson! Shouldn't it be too cold for worms on this planet? Too cold for genetically engineered not raccoons, that's for sure! Smoke the rocket! The rest of you should think of this as a warm-up for Fin Fang Foo! Yeah, 
Okay, let's just think things through a moment. Since when is that a thing we do? What if we're too late? What if Raker finishes what he started and the ritual... Then we're doing all of this for nothing. Not for nothing. If our final act is to challenge Fin Fang Fu, it will be an honorable final act. Eh, I don't do final acts. I'm a survivor. Let us hope we are not too late. All right, let's figure out a way to get through. We're in a rush, apparently. There. See? More... ominous peaks. This planet's starting to give me the creeps. I keep thinking Foom's gonna claw us from behind. Fin Fang Foom is a legendary beast. Legendary beasts do not claw from behind. Maybe not, but smart ones do. How about a bridge, Groot? I am I once heard that Fin Fang Foom is the runt of the litter. He's even got one brother that's way bigger than him. I have never heard this story. What? You ain't never heard about Bing Bang Boom? The colossal beast of Kakaranaraka? Makarantula? Nonsense. How do you know? Hello? He's an assassin? So here's an idea. Why don't we lure Foom into one of these gas caves? Knock him out! Cowardly. I want full credit for the kids. For the last time, Drax. We're not killing Fin Fang Foom. Wait, 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 wait. Rocket, are you neck deep in water? We're about to stare down a legendary dragon with the fate of the entire galaxy at stake. I ain't gonna hold this up. Wow. I'm impressed. You really conquered your fear. Yeah, well, it ain't about me no more. Time, Drax. I shall enjoy this. Instead of giving her boom, any chance Lady Eight might settle for a few of them. I'm thinking no! Didn't think so! I the Peter! More monsters! Let's exterminate them! Yo! Oh, great! More Larkin beasties! I don't mind getting my hands dirty. Bring it on! Bring it on, Drew! Initiative. 
This is definitely in Drax's wheelhouse. Targat gone at call. Wall Malki old dad. Oh, dein Kogal mag. So trajo to look. Helda Komagat, Soltat Flandergat. Uh, anyone ever tell you, you got an enchanting voice? <laughs> nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Guys, there's so much at stake right now. I mean, if we don't get Lady Hellbender on our side, if we don't find a way to take down... It's Groot, loving the initiative. Sardut, Jud kein Agoltau, Gott en Kogal <laughs> Nice! Who won't know what hit him? You will be more resilient than a boulder, Peter Quill. I know. I'm just trying to be positive. Why? I think it's a team building thing. We require no further team building. Honestly, after everything we've been through, there's no one I'd rather be doing this with. I flarkin love you guys. Ugh, gross. Some things are better left unsaid, Peter. Yeah, way to ruin it. Let's just get back to catching Foom and saving the galaxy. I am in love with you as well, Peter Quill. Galmak! Galmak! Soltat Rondon! Watch it! This place is crumbling all around us! Maklu! Maklu 4, Peter Quill. It must be fair to the other Maklu's. Trajo to do. Heldador Morgan. Soltas Flander. <laughs> this is nothing compared to the legendary teeth and claws of Old Typhoon. You know, I'm gonna be really disappointed if he doesn't live up to all the hype. <laughs> Assuming we live that long. Peter, look! There's smoke ahead. Think it's Foom? More likely it's people. Great. Maybe they'll know where he is. Or they'll attack us on sight. I could probably infiltrate the camp, look for weak links, make an example of the right person, bleed them out in front of their crew. The shock of it will cause confusion or maybe even surrender. Then we carve through the rest. Hey, uh... Is everything okay? We didn't really talk after your, um... The killing my sister thing? 
Yeah, and other tangential topics. I'm fine. Ish. Okay. <sighs> Peter, there's a good chance Nikki's already lost. No. I don't accept that. And if she is, I know I'll be the one expected to make the hard call. She's my daughter. But I'm the killer. We both know that. It's not gonna come to that. And if it does? If it's a choice between her and literally everything else, Peter, you'd do anything for someone you care about. And we both know that I... We both know that you would as well. Which is why you're exactly who I need to bring my girl home. Alive. I hope you're right. You seen him? Big wings, nasty teeth. Purple shorts. What do you mean, purple shorts? What, I heard he wears purple shorts. Ancient legends do tell of such a thing. See? This one. <sighs> Let's see those things in action. I'm on it. Fortune smiles upon us this day, my friends. Melt that one, too. How did you know your guns would work back there? And that one. Good thing that rock tried to murder us or we'd have never got Quill's sweet new power. Maybe we should almost kill you more often. That's not how it works. It's when people I care about are in danger, and then I get this feeling. Oh, I get it. It's like uh, faith energy. No, it's not like... Relax. I believe you. So jealous right now, Quill. You should be. At least it ain't quite as cold in this cave. What is that? Come on, Rocket. We got past your fear of water. Ugh. Well, does it burn? It, it's so... I can't... jump. 
It's like this magic mud stuff I used to make as a kid. There is nothing magical about mud. You haven't been to the spa in Contraxia. I have not. You don't really strike me as the spa type. Like I said, magical. How do we get across this gunk? Perhaps we can leap to the ledge above. I wouldn't hold your breath. Oh, of course not. Steady breathing is essential to an effective leap. Step aside, mortals, and allow the Meltonator to do his mighty work. That's a terrible name. Huh? Got a better one? Petey Hotguns. No! Captain Fireball. It's not even a fireball. It's more like a uh, heat glob. Captain Heat Glob. Nope, no. I swear, Quill, you get all the fun toys. What? What about that weird gun you have that turns people inside out? Oh yeah, the zipper. Man, I gotta fix that thing. Can you give me another ride, Groot? I'm Groot. Thereabouts. I'm Groot. Trying to communicate. Please don't. Star Lord! See? <laughs> Star Lord! Is it just me or did he sound a little irritated? No, there was definitely hatred in that voice. <laughs> Always the charmer, Quill. is beautiful, its own twisted way. The trees are indeed twisted, well observed. Groot says the plants here are all mean or stupid. Check out these pointy trees. Don't check them out too closely. Groot says watch out for those plants with all the holes on top. Ah! It burns! Groot says they've got corrosive spores. Don't get too close. Burn, baby, burn! <laughs> nice. I ain't ever gonna get tired of that. Yeah, I think we've earned a vacation. Preferably on a normal planet where nothing's trying to kill us. Groot says those plants deserve it. Look at that. I'm actually starting to get warm. Keep your eyes peeled. Not an ambush. Your senses must be finely tuned. I smell nothing. <laughs> Another plant falls to Captain Heatglob. With all these exceptional beasts, it's a wonder Lady Hellbender does not move her home here. 
Hey, you're just killing weeds at this point. <laughs> nope, still not tired. I imagined food would sense our arrival and rush to face us. Nice shot, Peter. <laughs> 